Morning Gooders. One of my Patreons, Jennifer, is having a problem with a project she's working on, and today I thought I'd show you how to solve that problem using shape keys. So the problem Jennifer is having is she's rigged a character from the game Destiny, I, I believe, and she's created a rig, posed the rig, and as you can see here, with the pose that she's uh, posted in, the collar of the character is intersecting with the fingers of the mesh of the character. So um, this can be solved with weighting by uh, adjusting the weights on the, the model, but every time she strikes a new pose, then she's going to have to readjust the weights to compensate. And the, and the compensation or the, the, the weight adjusting she does it in this pose may affect the next pose and you're constantly chasing the weights trying to make corrections for the different poses. So in this instance what I would do is she's got the rig to a point and the character to a point where the weights are where she pretty much wants them uh, and in this situation I would just apply a shape key to the area of the collar that's, that's causing the problem and use that shape key to make an adjustment when she's ready to print. So to show you what that, that actually is, and here's another case here, another instance where you can see that the collar is intersecting with the wrist of the character. So what I've done is I've just created a simple, a simple object and a simple mesh to describe and to show what's happening. So if I just switch to my side view, now what I'll do is I'll just make my interface larger so you can better see what's happening. So what I've done is I've just created this simple shape where we've got one mesh overlaying another mesh. And if I switch to, select the bones, switch to pose mode and rotate these bones. Actually, I've already done that. I, I did this earlier. I've, I've rotate the bones, I'll just show you what I've done here. I've just rotate the bones and put a key on just to show you some animation and some some flexion of those bones. And if you have a look here, when the meshes roll up, you can see we're getting intersection here. So I could go through and, and paint the weights of that particular mesh and make an adjustment, switch to weight painting mode and and paint those weights and adjust the mesh and, and, and compensate for there. But then next time I pose into a different pose, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be having to do the same thing again. So what we can do in this instance is to apply a shape key to this mesh. So what I'm going to do is just go to edit mode. And you'll notice that when I switch to edit mode, the mesh reverts back to its, its normal shape. And in this mode here, I can then do an override if you like. I'm just switching to the uh, object data properties, which is just the vertices data. And if we switch to vertices, you can see here I've got shape keys. Now to use shape keys, you have to be, switch back to object mode, apply a basis shape key, which is just the first one. And now once you've got one, then we can add a, I'll deselect all the vertices, add another shape key and we'll call this, has to be in object mode to add shape keys, we'll call this key um, adjust, adjustment 01. Now, while that shape key is selected, whatever adjustments or modifications I make to the, to the mesh in edit, uh, in edit mode will only apply once I set the value of this shape key. So I'll show you what I mean. If I switch back to edit mode and I say select these vertices here and just rotate them up and move them up like so. Let's have a look how it's looking. All right, so I've just made an adjustment, adjustment in edit mode as a shape key. Now, if I set the value of that shape key, switch back to object mode, if I set the value to one, 
see how it's now applying it to the mesh and I've just given myself that little bit of room there to just make that adjustment and so if she then strikes a pose like this she can just apply the shape key to fold that collar back against the body and apply it um, when she's ready to print So you can see here now, if I just go through my animation, the, the shape key is taking effect here, but it's, it's on all the time. If I was animating, what I would do here is I would also animate the shape key. So and I'll show you how to do that. What I'll do is come back to, let's select this, pose mode. I'm just trying to find my keys. Yep. So I'll come back to just marker here. I'll select, go back to object mode, select this mesh, and I'll drop a key on here. I'm just moving my mouse over the value down here. Hit ins I for insert a key, and I'll come back to zero, and we'll drop that down to zero, and insert a keyframe there. So now you'll see that when I just scrub through, it'll be, just match to the to the geometry. So that's how you can uh, just quickly and easily create a shape key for any any object that's in your scene to make some compensation. And you could even do it for say, for instance, if you had a part with um, four holes in the corner, and each hole was six millimeter in diameter, six millimeters in diameter. What you could do is do a shape key and expand those up to 10 and then you could just slide up and down and, and increase the, the hole sizes and increments. There's lots of, lots of uses for shape keys that you could use. But um, in this case, this is just to, to help Jennifer to uh, overcome this problem she's having with posing this character for 3D printing. So hopefully I've explained that in a way that's easily, easy to understand. Um, it's, it's, it's just in object mode, create a basis shape key, then create your adjustment shape key, and you can create as many as you want. You can keep lay layering them uh, onto this object. And then uh, shaping the shape key in edit mode, and then uh, adjusting the value back in object mode. Okay. So hopefully, um, for this has been particularly for Jennifer, I hope that's been of, of help and of use. And uh, yeah, so if you're looking for free files, have a look down below. There are more of my free files, STL files, are, are there available for download. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you can. The link to that is below as well. Well, I think that's it for this one. Uh, just a quick little video to show you what shape keys are and how to use them. And uh, I think they will be of great value to Jennifer in particular, but anybody else who's uh, uh, wanting, to, wanting to make modifications after they've created their shape, which are non-destructive, if you like. So they don't, they don't uh, uh, override your base mesh. They're just uh, a layer on top that you can slide up and down to, to make some uh, changes. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.